Hey everybody, it's Big Z and welcome to Code S44. This is an early access game where you play as a spider bot that supposedly can climb every surface. Uh, apparently we're looking for our friend who is also like a spider bot. I don't know the full story, but the game is in early access right now, so there's probably gonna be some glitches and bugs. Um, but I'm excited to see what it's like. For some reason, it came up in my recommended feed because apparently it's like Visage. I don't see the similarity, but I guess, you know, whatever Steam says. Either way, we'll get into it and see what it's all about. Maybe. I pressed E. Was it not supposed- Oh, I have to hold E. Is that us? We're so cute. I guess I don't need my mouse for this, or at least- Oh, this is the menu screen. Okay. Hold on. Let me- let me mess with some stuff real quick. Okay, I was looking for a menu so I could, like, mess with some stuff, but I guess there's no menu. Like, we can choose between play, story, and credits. Uh, so I guess we'll play. Let's play, because that's what we're here for, right? Um, let's do Arrival. This story is about friendship and what we're prepared to do to protect it. Longtime friends S44 and S12 spent a lot of time going on adventures together, traveling to far away places. One day, S12 heard about a mysterious place and decided to go on an adventure alone but he never returned. S44 went looking for his friend, but after weeks of searching, he was at a dead end. That is, until the day he received a distress call coming from an unknown location. S44 did not hesitate, but little did he know what he was getting into. Little did he know the secrets he would discover in the mysterious town of New Bot City. Sounds interesting. What happened to Bot City though? Or Old Bot City? The world may never know because we're in code S44. I like the logo. It's very Wizard of Oz, like Emerald City. Looks cool. All right, we're in it. So we are S44, right? And we're looking for S12? Okay. <laughs> this is fun. So do I need my mouse at all? No? Okay, it's all with the... Uh... Oh! That doesn't look friendly. Okay, so it's all with WASD. Got it. That works. Okay. Who was smoking? Was the bird smoking? That would be news to me. This is a messed up feature. Reach Nubot City. I did it. Is this going to be this game where, like, they give you achievements for everything? Okay. I also want to play this. Oh. Oh, this moves the camera. Okay. That's good. I always like when games give you access to the camera. We can zoom in and zoom out. Why do I have a little... Why do I have a camera over my dude? I don't know. Oh. Oh, okay, I thought like maybe it was like a combination thing where I use the the camera to change what direction we're facing. I guess not. Okay. Okay. Um so where do we go first? What are we doing? What are we getting into? Did we need that? I feel like we might have needed that. Activate the bridge. Yep, we needed it. Okay. Okay. I'm still kind of nervous about falling off of stuff because like apparently like every surface is climbable. Like we can walk over whatever surface we want. But I'm also still kind of nervous. Yeah, no, never mind. We can like climb over boxes. We can climb to the bottom of this thing and not fall off. Um, so yeah, I guess all the surfaces are climbable. So I don't have to worry about falling off anywhere, but the controls are a little wonky. Because, like, I guess I'm used to using, like, the mouse to control the character, but, like, instead you can use, like, A and D to turn the character and W is forward. So it's going to take some getting used to. But I like it. Use or look for information about S12. Got it. What is that? What are you? You have, like, a little me in the middle of you. What do you do? Something about hardware? What? Something your hardware for... I'm reading it backwards. Free backup for your hardware. So it's like a save station? 
Do I need to press a button to like save? Or does it automatically save? I'm just gonna assume that it automatically saves and we're good to go. Okay. So where do we go from here? They said look for information about S12. But they didn't say where we could find the information. I'll get a better view of the entire city if I get to higher ground. Okay, how do we get to said ground? Do we just have to like climb our way across? Reach the top of the tower. Got it. Okay, so how am I supposed to get across? Because we need to be up there. But... Uh, I can't, I can't get to that area because it's not connected to anything. Because, like, that's the catch is, like, I can climb whatever surface I want, but it has to be connected to another surface. What are you doing? Ooh. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's very bad. So, red lasers are very bad for your health. Got it. But, like, I can, like, I can climb this because it's connected to other surfaces. So, like, that's how I get around. But that area isn't connected to anything, so how do I get across? What do you do? Oh, there we go. Now we can get across. Cool beans. So this is actually a lot trickier than it looks because uh, I am not the best at controlling my little robot. I guess I can just take my time with it. But I'm not the best at controlling this little robot yet. So I need to make sure I don't accidentally electrocute them. Aha, just go straight up from here. Maybe, yeah, we're good. I think it's just where the red lasers are, I can't go. But like I can touch the surfaces that the, the red lasers touch. There we go, we made it. What a strange place and so vast. I don't even know where to start looking. Well, it is a city. Another damn spider bot coming for the blue fluid? Gotta warn someone. We don't want your blue fluid, we just wanna find our friend. I don't want your blue blood. These robots are acting strange. I should check out that building they're all going to. Okie dokie. Are you gonna give us a checkpoint? Heck yeah, you are. Thank you. Do I need to get on you? Ah, oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I think I need to get on you. Okay, we're good. Take me away. Oh, do I need to press the button? Probably, I guess it's automated. Wee! Aw, oh, fun. This is adorable. Oh, I'm glitching out a little bit. I'm hanging on for dear life. Uh, okay. Where did this take me? Hold on. Hold on. I'll find my way off of you in a, in a second here. Still trying to get used to the controls. There we go. Checkpoint. Perfect. Uh, where do I go from here? Okay, so just based off of, like, general observation, I'm gonna take a wild guess that, uh, red lights are also bad. Because the red lasers are bad for our health. Can I... No, I don't want to go that way. I want to I wanna go this way. Oh no, you saw nothing. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Like, this is the part that gets tricky, is using A and D to turn. Because I'm like, wait, if I use A or D, will I turn left or right? Because I think it depends on the positioning of the camera. Where am I going? That way. Okay, so can I like... Can I go this way without it seeing me? No, no, you saw nothing. Don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Don't even get hit by the lasers. Don't even worry about it and do not get hit by the lasers. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, my little buddy. They did the deadness. I accidentally got shot because I was trying to figure out where to go next. Oh, now I'm all the way back here. But I was trying to figure out how I was supposed to get up are we just going straight across? I think we're just going straight across. Okay, I thought we had to go up. I was like, how am I supposed to go up? But I see now, I see where we're going. Okay, this is some some tricky stuff, man. Like it doesn't look that difficult, but like, like I said, controlling the bot sometimes can be a little tricky. This house is heavily guarded, I need to be careful. Well, like we weren't trying to be careful before? I was trying to be the carefulest before. Okay. You're showing me very, very, very different angles. Are we voguing with the camera? Because you're showing me a whole bunch of angles. And I'm assuming that, you know, they're supposed to be important. There we go. We got a checkpoint. Like, I think they're showing me the way. But I didn't get any of that. So I'm going to have to find my own way. What do you do? What did that do? I didn't see anything. Where does the wire lead? 
Somewhere up there? Is that the same wire? Yeah, it's just clipping through. Uh, okay, it looks like it moved something up there, but now I have to get all the way up there without getting spotted. God dang it, I barely made it here without being spotted. I mean, I did get spotted, but then I snuck away, so they didn't even know I was here. I was almost like a ninja. I was like a semi-ninja. Yeah, that's what happened. So, like, I was seen, but then they lost interest, and I was like, okay, cool, I guess that works too. It's not as sneaky as I would like, but I guess it works. Please don't see me. So what did that do? It moved this thing. Oh, so now the camera can't see us when we go down there. Gotcha. Can I just, like, walk by the camera? Do they have ear holes? I guess not. Okay, cool. What does this do? Okay. Aw, look at us go. I mean, I know we're glitching out, but at the same time, it's kind of cute. It looks like we're dancing. Looks like we're moving our little, our little spider feet. A friend of mine works at the customs near the police station. He told me he set a trap to neutralize his boss since he can't stand him anymore. Oh, is that how the future works? If you get tired of your boss, you can just neutralize them? Sounds a bit hostile. Talk about a hostile workplace, huck, huck, huck. Anyways. <laughs> Oh, okay, you just glitch out of existence. That works too. I thought something was gonna like block their line of sight again. Okay, um, so how do we do? We do like this and then that does that, perfect. Oh, is this our destination right here? Perfect, it took me forever to get through there. It just takes a while to get used to the controls. Oh no! Oh, poor baby, he looks so scared. Were different from the ones he saw before. Tony, leader of the New Bot Society, the local mafia, was eyeing S44 with distrust. Nevertheless, the shape of his guest looked familiar. Tony had already met our hero S44's friend S12 and helped him reach the citadel, the wealthy part of the city. That's where S44 needs to go. Aw, so they weren't Tony so bad. The only one who can help S44, but everything has its price. They need eggs, flour, milk, and sugar. The mafia leader needs to get his hands on a massive quantity of blue fluid. To put his next plan in motion. Aw, that's adorable. I mean, kind of questionable, but definitely adorable. So wait, why did S12 get off scot-free and now we gotta help Tony get some blue fluid? Are we like becoming drug dealers? <laughs> I don't know how this works. It sounds questionable. What up, birdie? We got a little pigeon friend? Hey there, Spidey. It's your new best pal, Tony. What? Is it Tony Bird? Anyway, I've been trying to get my hands on some of the guard's laser lenses for quite a while now. Okay. But my guys can't get them. They caught every time. Or they're caught every time. Too bad I wasn't able to read the rest of that. That's where you come in. Try to get them back in one piece. I might need them later. No, nah, we're so cute. Okay, so we gotta steal the laser lenses. Got it. What does the first button do? That lowers that. Okay. We built ourselves a bridge. Perfect. Can I go underneath the bridge? Which I have to admit, I do like this this part of the game. That like you can see your little spider bot buddy. You can see S44 through surfaces. So like you don't have to constantly readjust the camera. You can just kind of like see where you are in relation to everything. It's pretty neat. It still doesn't make me any good at controls though. It still makes me kind of freak out about the controls of the game. Like I am, oh, I can't see anything. I am terrible at controlling our little spider bot buddy. Only because, like, like I said, A and D help you turn. Are you going to see me? No. Um, good. <laughs> but A and D help you turn. But it depends on where you are in relation to the camera. Um, that A and D can, like, turn different ways. So, like, sometimes A will be left and D will be right. And sometimes D is right and A is left. It can be a little confusing. So, like, right now, because I'm underneath. Uh, 
they're opposite. Oh no. Oh no, you see nothing. Oh, you do see nothing. Okay, I thought we were like connecting to the to the surface level where they could see us. Okay. So we need to make it to that button. But how am I supposed to press it without getting seen? I don't know. Is this sneaky enough? I think it might be sneaky enough. We were sneaky enough. Okay, where do you go? Where is that in relation to us? Oh, right next to us. Okay, perfect. Um, can I just this way there we go <laughs> i had to sing a little song you know while i tried to figure out which way i'm going i don't know why either it's so hard for me to get used to the controls i don't know the world may never know no don't go down there i want to stay on the side i don't want to end up in one of those cells who knows what they would do to us what kind of cells are we talking about probably not the fun kind obviously Otherwise, you would probably want to be in a cell. Is there anything, is there any such thing as like a fun cell though, now that I think about it? Probably not. Okay. So are we good just to go straight across? I guess so. It's a good thing the, the beams only go so far. It's kind of a relief. Okay. Um, can we, can I go over here and like crawl across this without being seen? Maybe. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Like, I really like that you can literally, like, climb whatever surface you want. It's nice. And it gives you a lot of options in terms of maneuverability. Makes it way less stressful. Oh, geez. That's terrifying. Speaking of stressful, looks like you guys opened your third eye. Like that dude from, from Avatar. The Last Airbender. The animated version. I never saw the M. Night Shyamalan version. Oh, are we going backwards? Oh, this is underneath the belt. So we go the opposite way. Got it. Do we want to be on top of the belt? I don't know if we want to be on top of the belt. Training area. Okay. Um, but I never saw that version of Avatar. I already heard en enough bad stuff about it to never want to see it. Um, but I'm not sure if that dude was in that movie. Probably not. Because I remember that dude being pretty late in the, in the series on Nickelodeon. Okay, so where am I going? I haven't gotten a checkpoint in a long time. I think I may have missed one and that concerns me. Now I'm just straight up concerned because I have no idea where I'm going. It's been a long time since I've, you know, saved my progress. And I would kind of like to do that before, you know, I get blown up to smithereens, which is going to happen inevitably. Haha, finally a button. Buttons mean progress. Do I need to get on this? Do I need to get on this before it moves? Oh, it didn't move. Okay, it just turned off a camera. I thought this was going to be like a moving platform and I had to like jump onto it before it started moving. Now do you move? Now you move. Okay. Oh no, I'm going the wrong way. Don't move. Don't move again, please. Oh, that wasn't there before. That's new. What are you doing, pigeon butt? Hello, Spidey. I don't want to interrupt you, but it seems like we have a problem. You don't say. Some new guards are on their way to replace the others since they're tired. Indeed, the security is then increased, just in case. You will need to deactivate the lasers, but sadly it's protected. Two triggers will help you. One is activated at the control tower while the other is located in the prison. Okay, so now we gotta go press more buttons. Got it. Hey, real quick, oh no. My leg is broken, so it's kinda making it even harder to navigate. But what does this do? Oh. Oh, okay, now we're down here. Why am I down here? Do I need to be down here? Down here is good. I just realized there's a button right over there, so down here is good. Um, so how do I turn off the camera that's literally on top of it? Okay, good news is I found a button. I think it turns off the camera that's on top of the other button that we need to press. Bad news is the number of working legs that I have is dwindling very quickly. So I'm kind of hoping that I'm not going to lose all of my legs by the end of this because that would be bad. Um, but I think, I think that button did the trick. So now I just have to press the other button and we got one left. Hey, all my legs are working again. Perfect. So that turned off that one. Oh no. Okay, it only turned off one node. So we have to turn off the other node. 
Um, okay. Are you guys gonna see me if I go down this way? I hope not, because I don't really have another way to go. We look so graceful, weirdly enough, with like our one leg sticking up. It's like our pinky, we got our pinky up. Okay, need to figure out where else to go. Now we're like a freaking crab. Like two of our legs are just pointing upwards. What the heck? Aha, here we go. Okay, we gotta go quickly. We gotta go, 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 go before that dude sees us. I've also learned that apparently holding down the button to control the camera the entire time is probably not such a good idea because it just makes things way more complicated. There we go, because the camera kind of like moves as you go along. I thought it just stayed in one like static position the entire time, but like as you move, the camera moves with you. So it's kind of nice, you know, it doesn't move around too much, but if you need it to move more, you can move it more with the right mouse button. And it's kind of good too, because my finger was starting to like get sore from like holding the button down constantly. <laughs> okay, so now that's open. So I guess now we'll get the lenses. Are we freeing, are we freeing Tony's buddies? I'm still not sure, but I guess there's only one way to find out. Wait, is there a dude down there? There is. So how am I supposed to, how am I supposed to press the button if he's gonna be standing right next to it? Oh no, he, he cycles, okay. Um, quickly, how do I, how do I, how? Go, 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 go. Okay, what did that do? I'm not sure what that did. Did that clear up the lasers? I can't see, where is it? I don't think so. Oh no, it did, okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, now I just gotta make my way over there, perfect. All right, here we go, we should be good to go. Just grab them and go, grab them and run. Do I have to make it all the way back now? Or the cavalry is coming, Spidey. I did that voice because that's like my generic bird voice and they're technically a pigeon, so I think that works. S44 brought the laser lenses back, hoping to finally get some help in the search for his friend. But Tony didn't look too happy. The police had found one of his secret hideouts and stormed the place with the intention of destroying everything. Rude. The computers there hold compromising information that Tony needs S44 to hack and retrieve, but not without help. No? The Mafia leader has a gift for our little spider to collect first courtesy of his mysterious partner, Bo, a mechanic of sorts who lives in an abandoned scrapyard. Sounds like quite the character. All right, well, I'm gonna leave this episode of Code S44 here. If you guys wanna check out the game, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, it is free to play, so you can check out the game free of charge, or at least the first episode you can check out free of charge. It is an early access though, so there's gonna be some glitches and bugs. Uh, I played through the first two levels and I haven't found anything too detrimental. Like in the last area, my legs started glitching out. Like one of them was dragging on the ground and the other one was propped up in the air. It didn't affect the mobility of the character. I was still able to get around the level just fine. It just looked kind of silly. Like I said, it looked like we had our pinky up the whole time we were trying to get around the guards and we were trying to save the mafia. So it just looked funny. Um, and at the same time, the controls can be a little, it takes a while to get used to them. I'm still not quite used to them because like I said, the camera is a big factor in how you maneuver. So like, you know, if the camera is facing a certain direction, sometimes A is left, sometimes A is right, sometimes D is left, sometimes D is right. Um, so that's kind of like how you turn in the game. And like I said, I'm used to using a mouse to like control what direction the character goes in and then like using A and D to strafe, but A and D is how you turn. So it takes a while to get used to that. Um, but that's just how the game plays. So that's not really an issue, but yeah, so far I like it. I like the art style. It reminds me a lot of Borderlands. Um, and the, the characters themselves seem absolutely adorable. Like I find it hilarious that there's like this hardcore mafia boss that apparently does all his work through pigeons who have mustaches and smoke cigarettes or blunts. Like the entire situation seems hilarious to me. And I'm not sure if they're actually pigeons. Like I did like a squawky voice cause I thought they were pigeons, but they could also be robots that look like pigeons. And like Tony was talking through them. So I'm not sure if he had like a walkie talkie attached to a pigeon or like if he was talking through the robot pigeons. I don't know. The entire situation seems very silly and very fun. Um, so like I said, I'll leave all the information in the description and I'm excited to see where they go with the game in the future, but that is going to be it for Code S44 for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and of course I do want to thank you all for watching and I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye!